Get back. Get back. Fuck the big bastards. Hold on. Farmer, I'd get the 40 volt chainsaw. I can't believe you want to dig with this thing. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, the plan is drop the tray, spill out the barbed wire. This, that's gonna take forever. What? Digging with one of these. No, I wouldn't worry. You should invest in a post hole digger. It is a post hole digger. Oh. Oh, you should paint it. Three posts. Okay. Yeah, easily I got that off. <laughs> yeah, you might need the cap. <laughs> See, that's what you meant. I want to invest in. What? Turn something boring into something enjoyable. It's a bit much, that one. That'll keep all Nessie topped up. Open the door up. That's half throttle. All right, this is what we call a cowboy post. See how strong this is? I'll show you how to get that all done without using any power tools or anything like that. Digging the dig, digging the hole by hand. Super strong, no cement. Farmer Joe, he ain't, he ain't happy. He ain't happy. But today, <laughs> Farmer Joe needs some Makia 40 volt. Welcome to Texas Outback Cowboy Hold Post. I'm going to show you in about 10 minutes we're going to get this post in the ground ready to do this fence here without any power tools without any concrete all right stay tuned
Now you wouldn't believe it before, we had the camera set up on the roof and it was hard digging, I'm not sure where it stopped, but I think as soon as it started getting easy, the camera overheated on the roof and shut down and I'm like, doing a real good job, we got the post in, it's up there. And this is the third hole. And we decided next time we come out here, we're gonna get the Makita 40 bolt bit. We're gonna get the, the chainsaw. And we're gonna see how good it is sinking these posts out here. This is a good tool, but there's a better way. But this is definitely capable, for sure. Actually, it took us about 15 minutes for the second hole. The first hole we did in five minutes. And this one's easy as well. Want to plumber up a bit, Max? Hey? Straighten up a bit. Yeah, that's it. Oh. You don't get that with the Makita. Because it's like a, a bit and it brings it up itself, you know? You mean the Makita auger? Yeah. Not chainsaw? No, the auger. The, yeah, it doesn't do that. Chainsaw's a bit shitty and dirt. Do a video of me like falling over after I've done the hole. We'll put that in the Makita video. Coming soon. That's all right. This is the last hole. Not long to go. Oh yeah. It does work good. Oh, she's hard. Fucking five hundred. Five hundred? Hundred, no more. Hundred more. All right, no need to be mean. There's your hundred, buddy. All right, little Dave. Yep. No. Is <laughs> that the front or the back? Who's asking? Me. Uh, I'll, I'll give it another one. Sometimes the boss comes through and checks them randomly. That's the last one. Can you draw it in there too? <laughs> in diameter. Six hundred. No, in the hole. Oh, the hole of the post. Oh. I don't know. Just so it's going to be clear. 160. 150. 
Well, 50, yeah. Um, it should do. One end's probably narrower than the other. Yeah. I think this one. And. My right side down, eh? I think so. Find out. How are we going there? We're in trouble. Well, but you're thinking, what are you gonna do next? We'll show you exactly what you do when this happens. Yeah. Hey, Lyle, good to go? Yeah, take that off. Go in. Huh? Fill it right. Fill it up. Did we go in? Yeah, it went in. Oh, no, they get a they get a freaking thing. Keep going, Pa. Did it move? It did. did it, really not? it did. Yep. Okay, now we've got the barbed wire in the back, and we're gonna connect to one of the posts here behind me and then run the spool of barbed wire down straight in front. Call Mr. Roger 0424. Yeah, we're just your local fence contractors. Straight ahead to this post. <laughs> 